Let's see. Where are you at? Hey, Sarah, how you doing? I see that you joined. <laughs> Not necessarily your husband. Oh, there you are, Good Enough Garage. How you doing, buddy? I got my onions going. Okay, you already started, Jeremy. You already put them in the, uh, on your uh, pan there. Got them going. All right, there we go. All right, I'm bringing in Corey now. What up? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you're, you're like six minutes late, but I appreciate the grand entrance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm cooking. I'm cooking. Okay. Did you already start? Like, what'd you do? No, I ain't done nothing. I was waiting on you. Okay, you're waiting on me? All right, so let's get this thing started then, right? I, I don't want to keep people waiting too, too much. Hold up one second. Hold up one second. I'm going to get my cameraman going, too. Give yeah, me a second. Yeah, okay. Is this? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. All right. Hi! Amazing. How's my hat look, Larry? Uh, you're on, yeah. Okay. How's my hat All right. All right. Bring it in closer, man, because I can't hear him. Yeah. What did you say, Corey? Hold on. Hold on one second. Hold on. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> You made to put that on. <laughs> Jeremy said we can hold on for you. Uh, Jeremy, we ready? Oh, all right. What else y'all got to do? All right. I hear the jab. All right. What else y'all got? To do? Now I can see Larry on my TV, but it's real small. I don't know why. Okay. <laughs> I'm on my TV. I'm not on. Am I on the camera? Mm -hmm. Man, there's a serious delay here. That's gonna mess with my mic. <laughs> See, I just came on. Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll blame it on the delay, Corey. Okay. All right. All right. So here's what we're gonna do. All right. Okay. The so first things first, right? We want to make sure we get some diced onions in there. I've already pre-chopped it, but Corey, I'm assuming you're gonna go ahead and get started on your diced onions right now. Yes. Is that How much onion do I need? Um. Well, I, I would say like half. I went ahead and did a whole onion only because I love onions, but half. <laughs> Fine. Second of all, you're gonna hear my probably my screaming one and two year old at several points in this video. That's okay. He wants in. So, do I need a separate pan for the onion, or am I doing it on the same pan I'm cooking the burgers on? So essentially, what you're gonna need is three pans, right? You're gonna need a pan for the onions, one okay. for your and the other one for your hamburger. What was the second one? You broke up for your buns. Okay. All right. Hey, Dad, what are you drinking? Yeah, so right now I'm having a beer. I'm a Gofo. But I do have a Paradoia. I do have a walking tree in my fridge. I think it's that sort of prior to this. All right, I need to get a separate pan for my onion. Is that what you said? That's what yeah. you said. Yeah, show them setup. So okay. the setup right now is the big one is for my. Um, for the buns, so I can fit more buns on it at once. This is for my onions, which I'm gonna throw in um, olive oil and butter. And this is for my for my hamburger. So okay. you need two pans. I just need one more pan. I'll do my buns and the burgers. Yeah. Do you dice the onions up real small or? Yeah, like this, Corey, look. Like really small. Instead of look, I'm looking right now. All I see is like. Yeah, it's real small. Okay. It's like a Thanks. dice. Thing. There. This is real small. Real small. Corson is sick as a song. Real but, but honestly, Corey, if you want to make them rings, make them rings. Like, there's no real rules. It's your it's your show, right? So if you decide that, hey, I want to work on it and, and make them diced, you can make them rings if you want to. Um, it's going to be the same, in my opinion. I, I just wanted to dice it because that's how we, how we are. Good job. Good job. I'm going to try not to cut my fingers off. 
Probably a great idea. Hey, uh, Full Grill Life is not responsible for any missing digits. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, exactly. Um, I'm like, I'm gonna start this. Throw in some butter. And Corey, you, you know, you catch up in a minute. Throw some butter. Throw in some uh, olive oil. Start preheating my pan so I can throw in the uh, throw in the onions. What are you talking about? She's gonna put the. Um... I'm, I'm gonna go. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm putting. I'm already preheating my pan. Just. I. All I did was put in butter and olive oil. Okay. Both. Oh, not his cat pack. What's going on, buddy? Hey. What up, Robin, Wendy? Yeah. Both of them. Hey, this is. Are you getting how I'm chopping these onions here? Are you getting this? No, really? Okay. I got to check on my camera. Okay. Uh, oh, I got you. I got you. Yeah, you, you're doing great, buddy. You're doing great. <laughs> so, so let, let, let me know what you've done, Corey, so I can uh, move on past that. Um, just calm down, everybody, okay? <laughs> All right, just everybody calm down. Just, All right. just uh, stick with me here. Okay. Now we need olive oil and butter. Yep, preheat it. Get it going so you can throw your onions in there. Let me know when you throw your on onions in it, and I'll do the same. Okay, we're getting close here, okay? okay. Getting real close. I don't know. Rob, Wendy, I'm sure you're liking how much butter we're putting in here. Okay. Yeah. Rob and Wendy, uh, we can go bum up. But they're not watching me eat like a slob, okay? Calm down. All right. Okay. Okay. Every all right, that looks good, right? Look. Let me, let me see. I'll, I'll be the judge of that. Look, look at that. Look at that. Okay. Yeah, you're getting there. You're getting there, Corey. Okay. Unplugged. Is that That's right? That's olive oil and butter. Remain yeah. calm. Yes, Bridget, we do need to remain calm. How much mayo, people? I don't know. We're not, yeah, we're not, we're not Africa. close to mayo yet. I'm still melting butter for onions. Judge, hey, Dad, judge harshly. Okay. <laughs> yeah, look, we, we all know Corey's a, a blank show, right? <laughs> we're, we're, we're not going to talk too much too, too hey, too is, about it. Hey, you can see I'm now the cameraman because my two-year-old ran out the front door by himself. Okay, so you're doing double duty? Yeah, yeah. So. Um, right. Catch up. Yeah, this so, went downhill so, very quickly at my house. So if you guys are very following me and, and not Corey and you're trying to make the sauce, so, so the way I made it, again, it's not necessarily play with it a little bit, taste it, make sure that you're good with it. But what I'm doing is um, put in a half a cup of, of mayo. I put in a quarter cup of ketchup. And then I put a tablespoon of sriracha. And then I'm going to put like a, nice table, a tablespoon of, of mustard as well. And All right. Did you catch that, Dad? He said a half a cup of mayo. Corey did, Corey, did you already throw in the onions or no? What's that? Did you already throw in the onions? The onions are in. Now I'm trying to... <laughs> um, mayo, sriracha. Did you already put that in? Okay, half a cup of mayo. Did he already? He put the half a cup of mayo. Okay, yeah, half a cup of mayo. A quarter cup of, of, um, of ketchup. Hashtag live. Everything's breaking. It's falling apart over here, lady. I'm not going to lie to you. It's just falling apart. Right. Hey, this is real life, okay? Yeah, this is real life. I'm with you. I'm with you, Sarah. It's fine. It's fine. All right, so the other thing, too, that you do with the onions. Okay. Um, the other thing you do with the onions is you throw in a little bit of salt and pepper into it. What's that, Larry? I said, with the onions, you, you want to go ahead and throw in a little bit of salt and pepper into it? Salt and pepper the onions. Yeah, I'm going to get there. I'm gonna, I picked the first bottle of mayo that I had. It had, like, just a half a cup in there. So it's 
Oh, and I'm getting the jar of mayo. I'm going to use the half a cup that's in this thing here. That's fine. So, so while while your onions are cooking, let me know when you go, when you're going back, Corey, and, and we'll continue on. Okay, hold on. This is just. I'm still working on this sauce here. Okay. Okay, half a cup of that, a quarter cup of ketchup, right? Yep, quarter cup of ketchup. And then as much sriracha as I want, right? <laughs> sure, I would say a tablespoon, but go ahead. And, and also a tablespoon of, of uh, mustard. Okay. And the other thing too that you're gonna wanna do is throw a little bit of salt and pepper into it. Into the sauce? Into the sauce. I don't know. Robin, Wendy, do you approve of that much salt? Or have there, you by the way, Corey, did you already dice up some uh, sweet pickles? No. Okay. Did hey, you Corey. tell us to? Hey, Corey, you got to dice up some sweet pickles. Okay, did I, you I tell us to do that like, yet? Like, like three of the little ones. Hey, did you tell us to do that yet? No, I just told you to do it. Okay. <laughs> Good. All right. Hey, Robin, when did you, do you approve of the UFO? <laughs> okay. Okay. Look, we do have some stuff for Robin Wendy. See? And Corson just counted that we had two, but we actually Nice. Nice. No, I know Robin Wendy don't approve of just lettuce. Um, <laughs> what else we got? Okay. What did you say? What else I need? Mustard. Tablespoon of mustard? Tablespoon. Yep, tablespoon of mustard, tablespoon of, of sriracha. And if you don't like hot stuff, don't throw in any of that. And the pickle goes in here too, Larry? Yeah. Okay, hold on. I don't have little pickles. I got slight pickles because I thought we were going to pickles on hamburgers. So That's all right. how many of those do you think? About that many? He currently has four. Four slices. How many um, slices? Look, look I mean, what's going on here, Larry. For me, I, I put three sweet pickles. So um, here, I'll tell you. Give me a second. No, but I have slices. I don't have whole pickles. Look, watch. So I, I'm going to measure it with a tablespoon, Corey. What's that? I'm going to measure it with a tablespoon. Uh -huh. So here's one tablespoon. So two tablespoons. About three. I would do eight pickles. Okay. My wife has eight pickles based on what she saw you. Hey, I'm 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 trusting her judgment. Okay. So we're very clear on this. Your I dad can't... said he did ten, ten pickles, ten slices. Okay. Okay. I, I don't I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Bridget, how many pickles did you do? One, two, Thorfinn says do two slices. Did you cut it real small? Two. Did you cut it real small? Yes, it was nice. He's mixing the salt. Yeah, sorry. Tell us what we're doing here. He's whisking the sauce. I'll narrate, guys. Thank you. I appreciate it, Sarah. <laughs> Yeah, so right now what I'm doing is I'm just I'm making the sauce, I'm putting in all my mixture together, and this is what it looks like at the hey, end. Larry. It's Thousand Island inspired. Hey, Larry. What? Do you think I should stir those onions at all or just let them go? Uh, let, let them go for a little bit. Okay. It's fine. I haven't looked at them since we put them in. Bridget says okay, five good. Before. That's right, too, buddy. So, so all now right. that's all um, I can put in here. That's it. Yeah. And so it up. In, in the sauce, you put the uh, ketchup, mayo, uh, sriracha, mustard, salt and pepper, and um, and the pickles, and you mix it together until it creates almost like a Thousand Island dressing. And then and then you're done with the sauce. Okay. That's and that's what's going to go in the bottom of the bun. Okay. All right. I think that's good. I'm okay. Good. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna preheat my my pan where I'm gonna put my um, my burger on. Okay. Put it on medium. 
medium high. Yours is already preheated. Okay. I'm gonna stir this up because. So Corey, how are you? How are you, how are your onions looking? Oily, very oily. Yeah, you put a lot of oil in the pan. Like I put hey, oil. hey, Corey. Uh, some people may disagree with me, but fat is flavor, and I'm delicious. All right. Yeah. Jimmy just said it's like the Big Mac sauce. It's like the what? It's like the Big Mac. Yeah, it kind of is like the Big Mac sauce, Jeremy. Okay. Now, Jeremy, did you already make? Did you already make it? What do you think? Did you taste it? Is it good? Not good? All right. So. So now, uh, it goes to a ratio for the hamburger. All right, we're going into I, the hamburger. Corey, are you ready for the Okay. Doing the hamburger. All right, now we're doing the hamburger? Yeah. Okay, hold on. You need gloves for this. You don't need gloves. But All right. I need gloves. All right, so... For the hamburger, um, you do eight tenths of a pound of hamburger and about two tenths of a pound of, of bacon. Uh, I don't know if you can see it or not, but I chopped up a lot of bacon. bacon I tried to grind it. I tried to grind it um, to try and make it seem like 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 hamburger. Okay, so I'm gonna mix it all together, and that's gonna make my patties is bacon and hamburger because you're gonna want a little bit of bacon in every bite. So okay. two tenths of a pound of bacon, eight tenths of a pound of <laughs> of uh, burger. We, heard that. we got that. All right. Hold on. All Jeremy, right. This is a he likes traditional burgers so that he didn't have to make the sauce. Yeah, I know. I know. It's all right, Jeremy. You, you, you can be different. Emily said, don't burn the onions. Okay. This okay. is a pound, so I'm going to use a quarter Emily, of it, right? I appreciate the, uh, the heads up, so let's take a look again. Yeah, right. you don't have to burn it. I don't think you're paying attention here. What are you saying? You're not paying attention. To you or to me? Okay. Quarter pound of the bacon, right? Yeah. Geez, that's harder to cut than what I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, it's a pain so you, you use a bigger a bigger knife, dude. And you're gonna want to use this technique of of like going like this with the uh Mincing, it's almost like mincing the okay. yeah. bacon. Yeah. I'm gonna put the rest of my bacon back away, okay? By the way, this onion smells delicious. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Even Mason agrees, all right? And I'm a picky eater. <laughs> That's right. All right. All right, so, Corey, let me know when you're ready. Yeah. And just so Oh, this does have a lot of salt and pepper on it, but um, yeah, we're good. Yeah. She's red nice. Bridget said she skipped the bacon. Okay, that's fine. You Your dad said use kitchen shears with bacon. Okay. Come on, hey, use kitchen shears. Shears. Yeah, I don't have kitchen shears, I don't think. That should work. Babe. Just watch your fingers. Corson has got the lettuce covered, okay? He's got it covered. But he thinks we only need three slices. Or two slices, sorry. Corson does? Yeah. Yeah, we have three. Right. We really only need two. Corson, the more the bacon, the better, buddy. All no, right. he we only need two slices of lettuce. He's very excited about it. How many pieces of lettuce are there? The colder the bacon, Ew. the easier it is to cut. Lettuce is up to you. What what'd you say, Larry? What, did you say lettuce? That's what Corson's counting right now. Oh, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay. All right. Corson, have you chopped up your bacon or no? I'm working on it right now. Bridget, okay. so how do you not have kitchen scissors? Well, I probably use them in the garage. I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> they probably have some type of grease or something that I probably took them from the kitchen because I need them in the garage at one point. Maybe open a fertilizer bag. After you do stuff like that, I don't really bring them back into, say, a kitchen. Um, I feel like Corson is stealing the show. <laughs> That's good, though. Uh, Someone's got to. 
Hey, how fine did you chop bacon? Just just enough to where like it can mix well with the with a hamburger. That's probably good, babe. I'm 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 go hard. Okay. Go over here. Is everybody else done with your bacon that's cooking this? I like can capture the What's that? Okay. Where you at, Corey? Still working on the bacon? I yeah, see you. I put it in the grinder. I agree. Mm. Yeah, you should have. I tried to tell you. Yeah, I thought it was going to be easier than this, I'll be honest with you. But it's I was, not. I wasn't prepared with the proper knife, I'm going to be honest. Yeah, that's the thing, is that thanks to Tom, if Tom's on, uh, I was able to chop mine up fairly easily. Why, you had a good knife? I do have a good knife. Wow, you borrowed it, I guess, huh? Yeah, uh, let me see if I can find it. It was somewhere here. Here's the... This, this, this. It's in a dishwasher now. <laughs> or else I would, I would, I would show I it to you. I the dishwasher, or I hope they are, because I couldn't find any sharp ones. So just, just so everybody knows, um, I know I said... Bre oh, it's right here. It's right here. Oh. So here's my knife. Here's my cutting board. And the technique you're going to want to do with the bacon, Corey, if you have this kind of knife, is just kind of like... Just going up and down. Are you watching him on the screen, team? You hold the tip of the knife with your palm, and then you yep. uh, wave it like, around. Yep, just like yeah, that. Yeah, almost like, like as if you're cutting uh, paper. Yeah, I feel like that would work if you had a sharp knife. But if you have like a blunt piece of steel, I don't think it's going to work very well. Again, thank you, Tom. I really appreciate it. Yeah. All right, all right. Here we go. That's good enough. That's what I'm going with. Now I'm putting right, a straight listen, guys. hamburger. Salt and pepper again. Salt when you throw the bacon and, and the hamburger. Salt, good. pepper, or, and hamburger, or, and bacon. Together? Yeah. And salt and pepper. All right. I washed my hands already, people. <laughs> and then we put salt and pepper in the on this mixture here? In the mixture, yep. Well, we and I'm cooking. I'm cooking about a pound and a, or a pound a pound and a half. So I'm going to make six patties. But if you went with the recipe, then in theory you should have four patties, right? And they should be about a quarter pound each. Okay. Smells good too. Mm -hmm. Washing your hands. And like I said before, right, you're going to want to mix it enough. Jeremy, I know you're not doing this. You're doing your own traditional, which I totally understand. Um, however, I truly feel like you're missing out. But um, if you're doing the bacon with the hamburger meat, you're going to want to do this um, – so you get enough bacon on every bite. Okay, what am I doing? Salt and pepper, right? Yeah. Yep. Into your hand. And then um, Larry was just mixing up the meat, and looks it looks like it's in a ball. What are we doing now? He was mixing the salt and pepper in, and he was just stirring the onions. Yeah, I'm just kind of making sure that I don't burn them. So now what you do, Corey, once you get it all mixed up, and yeah. just divide it in half. Okay. And, um, you know, you know how much you made, right? So if you made a pound, then you're going to make four patties. I made a pound and a half, so I'm going to make six patties. So you're making four. Okay. I feel like I, I definitely have more than a pound here. Okay, so maybe five. Yeah, I feel like I need to make five patties. Nice and even number. Go with your gut. Yeah. Okay. I'm going my gut. It's pretty, pretty big, you know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, we're making, we're making it into little balls, or what are we doing here? Yeah, making it Little into balls. balls. They don't have to be perfect, though. That's what, mm -hmm. 
All right. I got you, Corey. I got you. We're going for like a quarter pound? That's probably good. Yeah. Yeah, about a quarter pound. Right? That's probably good. Yeah. Big. I feel like that's too big. Corson is really getting that lettuce ready for us over there. I really appreciate that, Corson. Can never have enough lettuce, buddy. Uh, Bridget said, we only got five patties, but they are very large. And these are supposed to be small, right, Larry? So, I mean, like Finn? this, right? I, I don't know that these are small. Thin, I guess? Yeah, so don't worry about that yet, because we're going to okay. smash them once we throw them in. Okay. I guess I got four patties. That works for me. All right. This is what I'm going with, okay? That works. Not too big, too small. That's what I'm going with. Hey, guys, you're going to want to have some more salt and pepper ready? Have more salt and pepper ready. Okay. Larry's getting some olive oil ready. What are you getting olive oil ready for? My He's burger. on the flat pan. The, um, so you want to put uh, oil on the flat pan? Corey's washing his hands again. Spread the oil. That's why I wear a glove. Let me know when you're ready, Corey. All right, oil on the pan. Is that what you said? Yeah, oil on the pan. You're going to have a piece of mustard ready. And your mustard ready. My mustard ready? And your mustard ready. Okay. Yep, your mustard ready. So you notice right now, I went ahead and just placed it on, on, on the griddle. And okay. I'm going to use my spatula. To flatten it out. He put he put it on the grill, okay. and then he used his spatula to flatten it out. Okay, so you put all four of them on there? No, just one. Just one? Just one. I mean, however many you can fit. So you could put two on there. Uh, I would put one up over here. And then smash it like that. And then I put a little bit of salt and pepper on it, and then I'm going to put some... Looking. Mustard. Ooh. Yeah, it is hot. I'm gonna get my cheese ready. Put some. Uh, you need some oil on it. Another piece of butter. Hold on, bud. And then, Larry, can you show the burger again how much mustard you put on there? Okay, so you're going to drizzle the mustard uh, like this. Okay. Yeah, and make it as flat as you want, Corey. The major thing that you're going to want is you see how it's starting to change colors? It's almost time for me to flip it. It's almost time for me to flip it. Um, Why mustard while you're cooking, Larry? Um, that's just the way In-N-Out does it. That's just the way it is. That's just the way it, the way it is. <laughs> I was being funny. Oh. Exactly. Thank you, Mason, for <laughs> laughing. So then now I'm going to flip it with the mustard on it. You see that crust? That's yeah. what the smash burger is all about. Okay, so we just let it cook like this? Yeah, yeah he just flipped it, but I don't know. Maybe you might want to wait a little bit before you flip it. Because he had his the uh, buns on. I feel like mine's too thick. Grab a plate. By the way, I, I went ahead and put a... Make, me, make them thinner. I went ahead and put a bun on... I turn my onions off, and we'll make one together, but then you can cook the rest, you know? Did you butter, hey, did you butter the bun first? I, I threw butter in the pan. Huh? He put butter in the I pan. I threw butter in the pan. Okay. And you didn't do the garlic butter then? I did not, no. Okay. You bailed on that. No, we're not getting that one now, buddy. All right, I was the Hi. He's on hey. the... Larry, are we putting uh, the mustard on the other side? Yeah. Flip the... What's that? 
Okay. Are we putting mustard on the other side? No. No. Okay. no. That's my blend so far. Needed more uh, oil, maybe? So while that's cooking, um, once I take the patty out, then we'll, we'll go ahead and, and uh, put the uh, burger together so we can go ahead and, and give it a shot together and uh, see what you guys think. But I'm going to take a look at the burger. Has it built that crust on the other side as well? Okay. Is your burger done already? Yeah, it is. Okay. I think I got to oh, I gotta get butter on the... Uh, Pan, I guess. My griddle here. All right. Corey, you can catch up in a minute, all right? Yeah. I'm just going to put one of my burgers together. What are you doing? I'm going to put one of my burgers together. Okay. All right. So, you go ahead and you put your sauce on at the bottom. Um... Put your cheese on the, um, on the, on the burger. That's what he did. Yeah. What are you looking for? Just looking for tomatoes. Dad said anyone else's screen freeze. Ours is not frozen. Yeah, ours isn't either. What? Did anybody else's screen uh, freeze? No. So I put um a piece of tomato on it. Grab the uh, cutting board and lettuce. Put some lettuce on it if you want. And do whatever you want All right. when it's done. Hey, where do the onions go? Do they go on the bun or where are they going? They're still we're, 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 on we're the still pan. putting it together, Corey. Okay. So, so this, so so far, Corey, I put on the bottom of the bun. I put the sauce. Okay. Put lettuce, tomato on the bottom. Okay. All right, now we walk over to our pan. Now we grab the onions. Now we throw some onions on it. Which, by the way, is what makes it animal style. That's right, Corson, animal style. <laughs> okay. And now, to top it off, throw a little more sauce on it. If you like sauce, if you don't like sauce, then don't do it. And then just throw it on top. You're ready, you're probably ready. There's your burger. We'll put your uh, lettuce. <laughs> well, we don't have any lettuce anymore because my child absolutely destroyed it. Do you want mayo or no ketchup? Did he do mayo and ketchup or mayo? I don't know. Huh? Did you only put animal sauce on there? Larry, I put what? You just put an animal sauce on? On the burger? On the bun. Yeah, so you put it on after the fact, right? So you put, you layer it with animal sauce in the bottom. Yeah. And then on the and, and, and then you put um, lettuce, tomato, and then you put your patty. Then you put your onions and then more animal sauce on top. All right. <laughs> All right. Then more animal sauce and that's it, right? Uh, onions and animal sauce. Onions. Oh, uh, onions and okay. Corson's helping over there. With the sound effects. <laughs> That's awesome. I appreciate it. I didn't burn my onions. They're perfectly caramelized. <laughs> and hot. Oh, no, the pan's hot. If yeah, you yeah. Use your hand, you will burn your hand. Just FYI. Yeah, for sure. De definitely um, be careful with that. But, uh, we're going to go ahead and try it out here in a minute. Maddie, nice. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Long and time no see. Look. And then bam. Boom. Boom. Dude, dude, that's a perfect burger right there, Corey. And you went with a brioche bun. I did not find that personally, so I went ahead and went with a Martin's potato roll. Okay. And, this, and this is what it looks like on mine. Publix had the, Mar or the brioche bun. All right. Okay. All right. Next time. Okay, so, so I got to toast another bun now. Well, I'm going to take a bite. 
How about we take a bite, Corey? Yeah, let's take a bite of the one you played in. I feel like it's going to be really hot right now. Is this not hot? Yeah, pe people don't want to see you cooking the whole thing. All right? But let's I take a bite, comment on it, and then we'll go from there. Okay. Corey, where are you at? All right. Rosie, what's up? Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay. I, I think it's fair to say we will not be starting a cooking show anytime soon. <laughs> Oh, not? Not, hey, not with that lettuce. Not with this lettuce. Um, I skipped all vegetables except for the onion, and this is what we came up with. Are you taking a bite, there? Yeah. yeah, please. That's it, pretty much. You guys, cheers. We're going to take a bite. It's good. Corson, that's hot. I know I cooked it. I don't know that no. I like the sauce. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's a Thousand Island inspired, so if you don't like Thousand Island, don't do it. But <laughs> I just recommend making the burger patty this way. No, Cotton. yeah, the burger is really good. It has a good crust on it. I got to yeah. grab this one off, though. Hey, yeah. guys, make sure you share, like, subscribe, follow, whatever you got to do. But we got a great episode coming out Monday with uh, Carl Mark. If you don't know what that is... Uh, look YouTube. On YouTube. Um, anything else you got, Larry? That's it, man. Hey, I appreciate everybody joining us. I, I feel the love. I hope it, I hope we brought something back to you. Social distancing sucks. <laughs> Not being able to talk to one another sucks. However, uh, make the best of everything, right? So um, thank you. Enjoy. Maybe this helps you to uh, make something in the future. That's it. Do, All right. Me right. Do making his okay. burger. Hey, hey Bye. one more Thing. If you do make this burger, or if you make a burger, take a picture of it, tag us, and show us later. You did. Cheers. Cheers.